Welcome everyone to Galcon Legends. This is a game by Hassey Enterprises Incorporated, which is uh by Phil Hassey, I'm assuming. So we will give this game a shot. So it's another one of those games where you just like drag your stuff across the map and you just win. Kinda like the flash game we played earlier on oh um, sorry, got distracted. Uh, badge quest. Very similar concept. So. Okay, so. Oh, uh, okay, over here is how we change. How much of our fleet is set up? I always like 50%. Because then you can just do stuff like that if you need to. You just keep resetting stuff. So. But yeah, it's. Oh, it's fine. I'm Buck. Buck the bill collector. Not everybody plays with me because I get the job done. This is my lady, Delilah. This, this is her. She's a looker. But keep your hands off. Hey, well, we start as a cowboy boy. I don't give a rip divlin snivel with the interstellar feed co-op says, I owe you won't get a wooden nickel out of me. Alder takes a brute force towards the light heel. So one myth massacre stuff eight ships. So direct it to your planet most Okay. Okay, that's kind of a bad strategy on this part. Now we can just start talking him. He's attacked one of my planets, I'll have his counter attacks to his dust. Guess he gets his planet. So we win. Boom. Alter defeated. Continue. Of course I'll increase my rank. Next mission. Sorry ma'am, the Intergalactic Sea Corporation doesn't accept excuses as currency. Miss Magpie has a decent understanding of basic strategy. She carefully picks good high production low cost planets that are nearby. And protect strategy when it comes to attacks. Be sure to take her planets when you think you have a few ships on them. Or when they only have a few ships on them, rather. So... I might increase like 85%. I think that kind of suits my strategy better. Oh, she's attacking me. Okay, well. Okay. So we had to a little bit more tactically then. Still like sending a little bit more. Let's keep an eye on on what plan she's going for better. This one. Why can't I? I guess you do it to click a drag somewhere. Oops. I don't like that you have to click a drag to send. Because if you have it selected, maybe it's how it works. It's kind of a pain, but. There you go. So, so I kind of had a floater there. But we have defeated Miss Magpie. So, we'll continue. Oh, of course, we'll increase our rank. Take that, you two bit overwinning Bill Collector. Arg! Miss Bishop, both Buck and Miss Pegbite get two mega planets. Plants have production set 200, the maximum typical limit. We need to outproduce Miss Magpie and speed comp by keeping two mega planets at all times while capturing a few better non mega planets. Okay, lose a mega plant as long as you have one of Miss Magpie soon after. Okay. 
Okay, she's going for Miss Magpie defeated. Of course, we want to increase our rank. Get out of my land, you walking cow pie! I ain't paying. I also hooed you upset, pretty little magpie. Now it's personal. The winter Walter's main territory seems giving him a big advantage as he owns all the planets. Fortunately, he's pretty slow moving. You take out some of the huge mass of ships as long as long as you quickly spread out. You won't be able to keep up. Be sure to keep not to leave a large cast of ships on any one planet while to target targeting just make your way. Roger. So here I guess we don't know how many people he has on all of the planets. Num number is the number of I believe of um, stuff each planet has. Or like amount of um, production you get from that set planet. I can't take care of myself, you crusty old curmudgeon. Leave me alone. Three way battles require you to decide which or both of the opponents you want to destroy first. If you play your cards right, often your opponents will destroy each other. So take a few medium sized planets and once balance to play, let your opponents waste ships fighting over the main plots once you build up a sizable fleet attack. Sure. <laughs> The thing is, you don't, although you um, kind of want your opponents to fight, I find it's better just to equip the opponents that way. Oops, shoot. Got off the game, but you guys didn't see it because of this, how awesome this recording program is, but. I clicked off the game. A second back, so. We need to capture one of those mega plants, though. Other than this one, we already control. Okay, he's not quite dead, but he seems to be going after her, so I'll let him keep the path. Just one of the bigger planets. Um, let's stop this one instead. We can always... Because we can just do this. Attacking that planet pretty hard. Let's take this one back. Oh man, she's pretty good. Because I haven't been able to take her bigger, but I've been focusing on these little planets, but I shouldn't be doing it. And been focusing more on her big planets. So I will do that now.
No, we screwed this one up. Oh, that's kind of a interesting one. I'm trying to just control a, a little corner of the galaxy here. So I guess all I'm doing again is just fighting over the little planets. Which I think again is the wrong thing. Our enemies, because I'm well, just not exactly sure the best way to do it. That is, so we just take a bunch of these planets. This maybe that's the best plan. Take a whole bunch of uninhabited planets. The only thing I don't like about that thing is we're kind of like killing our forces off. In Allowing their forces to keep building. Yeah, see, now I have nothing but a couple uninhabited planets. 
it's, it's definitely not the way to go. Let's just send forces to all the planets then maybe? Now she owns most, and I only own a little pocket here. Yeah, let's see how now I'm stuck. Oh, you can ask to get a new map. Didn't know that was an option. I don't think it'll help too much. I have to wipe her out pretty quickly. Else he'll just wipe me out. If I can wipe her out right away. Okay, now him. It's almost like a balance of power. Yeah, it was just, um, like, attacking, trying to weaken one, focusing on one enemy first, and then focusing on the other one second. I don't think, we're like, we're not out of the woods yet, but... Especially because we know that she's a better strategist than him, and we know he's a pretty shitty strategist. So, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to split my force as much as possible, because I know he'll always attack one area. There you go. So that's how you do that. 
guys. But that will be it for the first episode here of Galcon Legends, and we will be back momentarily.